In this video, I'm going to walk through how I use BrainTool as part of my overall uh, productivity and personal knowledge management system. To get access to your BrainTool data, you're going to want to go to the Actions menu and turn on Google Drive syncing. Uh, you have to click the Authorization button and then walk through Google's uh, authoriz authorization and authentication to uh, allow BrainTool to write to your Google Drive. At this point, I'm going to switch out of the sandbox environment. Here we are back at my usual uh, working window. You can see I got my topic manager and my browser. Uh, if we look oops, here, you can see I use the uh, Google Drive application to sync my Google Drive to a local folder. Under that, I have a brain tool folder. And uh, since I'm also experimenting with LogSeq, I've got a LogSeq. Um, folder here, pages, and there's where my brain tool file is. Uh, basically, I just moved it from the place where it was created right at the top level on Google Drive, and it doesn't really matter where you put it. So here it is here. Um, and if I open it up in Emacs, you can see um, here it is. Uh, you can note at the bottom my uh, Emacs is set up to automatically um, upload, uh, change the, upload the file whenever there's a change. This is version 2557, and uh, you can see here it's 2557, so it's the, it's the same file. Um, <clears throat> and this is basically just a way that uh, BrainTool stores your data in, in org mode. I've got a couple of to-dos, etc. here. Usually how I organize my life uh, is I, I have uh, this, this log file here where I put in a daily log. I start with a set of things I want to get done that day and, and um, you know, basically just keep, keep track of everything I want to keep track of. Um, so this is, this, is what that, this is how that looks. So let's look at my to-do list. Control-C, A opens org agenda. I'm going to look for... Uh, to do items and I also use next for the things that I have next up and so here's all of my to do items um, use shift F here to put follow mode on and so as I step through you can see in the in the window on on the left hand side I'm stepping through the set of to do items uh, that are just in my brain tool file and then the, the majority of them are within my within my dev log file uh, I can restrict to just the brain tool uh, related to do's um, and you know kind of working through them let me see how about uh, that one I think doesn't really matter anymore so I'm going to mark that as done save the file uh, just to kind of walk through some other uh, things here I can uh, you know, filter to just see my dev tasks. Uh, I can filter to just see, oops, just see brain tool, brain tool one O tasks. Uh, I kind of, you know, step through these things. Um, so that's, that's basically how I keep track of, of all of my information and, and to-do items uh, within org mode and integrated with uh, things that are going on in the browser. So now if I bring back up Brain Tool, oops, wrong window, you can see I get this notification here that uh, the file has changed out from underneath me. So uh, come into Options, hit Refresh. And here we are. This uh, line item is now done. So that's how that's how I uh, keep track of to do items across org mode with Emacs and uh, things that come up while I'm in the course of doing some browsing. The next uh, thing I'd like to look at is kind of indicated by the fact that these are in under LogSeq. And so if I open up uh, LogSeq. going to grant logseq asks for a lot of permissions for local file access but so this is now um, you know br the brain tool file here uh, is it's kind of a little slow coming up um, but is uh, uh, tied to that same underlying underlying item underlying file so I'm gonna have to refresh
there and this item now comes in as done. And uh, so that's that's my, my brain tool file here has all the same information and so I can use logseq to uh, go about um, you know keeping track of stuff in, in the brain tool file the Emacs will be automatically synced and then uh, in a similar fashion uh, as as with uh, logseq when you go back into brain tool you'll have to do a manual re refresh. You can see from the paucity of pages that I'm not much of a logseq user although I have been experimenting with it a little bit. So what we've seen here in summary is that leveraging the interoperability of the standard org mode format, brain tool can be part of an overall uh, personal knowledge management and productivity system uh, that uh, incorporates other tools such as Emacs and LogSeq and uh, pulls your browser into that ecosystem.